welcome Virgo, welcome. I'm here today to give you a reading regarding your love life, an energy check to see what's going on with love. All right, for those with the sun sign of Virgo. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I welcome you here and invite you to subscribe in order to join the tribe that I'm building here. And if you are returning to my channel, let's get some light here. If you're returning to my channel, Virgo, thank you. Thank you for your support and I appreciate your presence here. All right, so this is a general reading. And if you find that these messages do not resonate with you, Virgo, don't panic. Just means I didn't pick up on you this time. All the more reason to be subscribed so that when the next reading drops, you'll be able to see your story there, okay? I apologize for any background noise. I live in the city and as always, as soon as I hit record on my camera, Every garbage truck, every fire truck, every police siren wants to go off around me. So hopefully it's not too distracting. And let's get some messages on the board for spirit, for, for Virgo spirit. Let's get some messages on the board for my lovely Virgos about their love situations. Let's get some guidance for my Virgos. All right. And let's go ahead and clarify these messages that are here. See a lot going on here, Virgo. So basically, right off the top, the first thing that I see in the way of messages is the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, followed by the Ace of Wands, and then followed up by the Queen of Wands. All right. So what we've got going on here looks for many of you like there was a third party involved in your situation in your relationship and with this three of pentacles being clarified by the star in reverse what this is telling me was you know obviously or i shouldn't say obviously i should say when this third party um, stepped onto the scene and you discovered the third party Virgo, you know, the, your, your relationship stopped functioning correctly. Okay. So duh, you know, Captain Obvious, right. But it was more than just merely that. I mean, some people go months, weeks, if not years with a third party involved in their situation. But you, Virgo, literally could not, could not take it. Like you really were not going to be able to move forward and function properly in this connection um, with, your, with your person, Virgo. And you took it as a direct hit to your self-esteem. So with the star being in the reverse, you felt as if, you know, this third party coming on the scene was directly related to something that was lacking in you. You felt like something lacking in you caused your person to go out and seek out a third party. And, you know, as we move further here in the reading, we'll get more information. But my overall feeling right now is no, I just feel as if your person just had this inclination within them to act in this way. And it really was not because of you, but this was a direct hit to your self-esteem. One in which you um, really, just have kind of lost your vigor like you 
really are letting this affect you in all areas of life with this magician in reverse, right? This is kind of like the overarching energy of this spread. And you don't even believe at this point in your ability to get this relationship back on track in the way that it needs to be on track, right? So that lack of belief in yourself coupled with the direct hit to your self-esteem is really got you in a really horrible spot. And it is starting to affect you physically with the strength card in reverse here. And I think that's what's going on under the, or behind the scenes with you, Virgo, that you are not recognizing, you're not taking the time out to pay attention that your emotional health is now affecting you physically. And, you know, you are feeling it in your body and you're choosing to ignore it and keep pushing forward. And bravo, you should be applauded for pushing forward because anyone going through this type of pain, this type of heartbreak can easily just kind of, you know, ball themselves up in a corner somewhere and refuse to look at the world, but you keep going Virgo. So you should be applauded for that. But Virgo, you have to really take some time out to take care of you. You also have to get on track knowing that this situation is not your fault. Okay. All right. So with this Ace of Wands here, and it is being um, clarified by the Six of Swords, some of, I see a couple of different things here, and it depends on your situation, Virgo. So I'll, I'll, a couple of scenarios, I should say. So one scenario that I see here is that some of you Virgos got up and left. You, you freaking left the building. Like, you were not going to deal with this or you had gotten to a point where you literally could not get up, wake up and do what you needed to do in that home that you shared with your person or maybe you lived in a neighborhood or something nearby your person and you just got up and you moved because the things around you um were bringing you into a lower and lower and lower emotional place every single day, right? Where you could not, you were getting to a point where um, it was getting too hard to put one foot in front of the other. So this was your act of strength to get away physically from the environment and what that reminded you of the person that you're with and you know, not having the energy of that person in your space. So that was how you grappled with making the situation somewhat better for you. Um, others of you, what I'm seeing is like, this is a big stick, right? And you actually may have gotten into a situation where you club someone with the big stick. So whether it was a physical altercation or a verbal altercation, and hopefully for most of you, it was a verbal altercation, right? You really got in there and you really let your person have it. And I feel like many of you even confronted the third party and you gave them the what for as well, right? And you walked away from it knowing you've had your say and you've put people in their place and you just walked clean away without even looking back, all right? So with this queen of wands here, um, and this queen can represent male or female, here, I am seeing this as the third party person, this queen of wands person. And what I'm getting with that, um, as well as having the six of cups in the reverse, clarifying it is the situation that's going on right now between your person and this third party. Well, you know, your person my feeling is your person would not admit it to you at this time, but they do miss you because 
they feel like as whatever excitement that they were getting in this situation with this queen of wands person has kind of drained away. I mean, sadly, part of the excitement in their affair was that they were doing it and they were sneaking around and doing it, right? Um, they were doing it without, you know, trying to tip you off. They were doing it without having other people see them do it or other people who could report back to you seeing them do it. So the sneaking around was exciting for both of them. And now that um, aspect of it is gone and dealing with this queen of wands, again, whether that's a male or female, your person is now kind of like, you know, they feel as if they're in a foreign land with an unfamiliar face. So there was a lot of familiarity with you. There was a lot of comfortable vibes with you, Virgo, that your person had. Um, it was almost like the situation, what I'm seeing is like you could finish your person's sentences and they could finish yours because you guys had this vibe where you just knew each other so well, you were so comfortable with each other. Um, there were no pretenses. You could, you know, you could wear your sweats and pull your hair up into a messy bun. They could, you know, wear their sweats and sneakers and, and a wife beater and which is a t-shirt for those of you that don't know <laughs> and everybody was cool like you still looked at each other as being you know that's my that's my person that's my love that's my person and with this queen of wands person i don't think they can get into that vibe with them from what I'm feeling is there's this pressure to look the best, be the best. There's this pressure to always be put together. There's this pressure to never let them see you sweat. There's this pressure that your person just doesn't even want to deal with right now. But for now, it does look very clearly like they're sticking to it with this queen of wands person as they have not left the scene at this time for most of you is what i can say um they still have some level of involvement with this queen of wands so even those of you who may feel like or may be asking all right i've been seeing my person around a lot more without this other person what's going on are they still together I, I I still feel the connection is open and for some of you they may not be spending as much time or maybe the least amount of time and then for others of you they seem to have jumped in with both feet to this person and are spending all their time but they're not truly what I would say is happy right Bear with me one moment here. So as I look forward a little bit, this Queen of Swords in the reverse is letting me know that, you know, things are going to take a real turn here soon between the third party and your person. Their communication, their connection is going to really start to get uglier because the two of the, these two... They're not really well suited for one another. That's the problem. They're fine in small doses, but when forced to spend a lot of time together, they don't do well. And, you know, if we're talking about my Virgo feminines and their masculine is spending time with this Queen of Swords, well, her personality really is one um, where she cuts him down, where she, when she gets angry, she may say things that emasculate him. And so he is really going to start to suffer with that. And with this eight of swords in the reverse, you know, there will be some mental bondage that he'll first go through, but I feel like that'll go for a short time. And then he's going to start to get the hell out of Dodge. Like, 
he is going to start sniffing back around to see if Virgo is still right where he left Virgo, right? And if not, then he's going to be like kind of, I feel like this wandering um, motion with your person to see, all right, if Virgo isn't coming back around, if I'm not able to just simply lure Virgo through making a call or sending a text or something like that, quick and simply, what do I need to do? And they might get a little lost trying to figure it out, right? So up to you totally, Virgo. I'm not telling you to take this person back. I'm not telling you to leave this person. I don't do that as a tarot reader. I simply give you the information so that you can make a educated and informed decision here. So that's kind of like where they are, where they'll start to wander a bit as they get lost trying to figure out what to do. And it might come off looking a little weird to you because it might look to you like they're not even really trying, right? And that they, you might attribute their lack, seemingly lack of effort to they don't really want me back. But it will be that they do want you back. They just don't quite know what to do because this is a real mess that they've made here, right? Um, and they know they're going to have to answer to you. They know you, you, you know, you're not going to just slot. They're not just, even though they might send you a, a short little text trying to get your attention or whatever, they ultimately know they're not going to be able to just like slide in easy peasy lemon squeezy and be back with Virgo again. There's going to be some splaining to do and lots of work to do in order to get this connection back, right? They know that. So they are going to get a little lost. And so if you, Virgo, do make the decision that you at that time want to be back with them and that's your decision, you may have to kind of guide them back to you, all right? Um, as, as infuriating as that can be, right? Like, grow up and do what the hell you're supposed to do in the first place, and you don't put yourself in these positions. But if you do mess up majorly, you know, apologize, explain, and show sincere remorse. You know, it's not really difficult, but but this is what people do. They make shit difficult. All right. So with this four of swords in the reverse, yeah, as, like I said, as they're kind of doing this wandering dance whole thing, Oh man, there will be no rest for the weary with the with this four of swords. Like the anguish, the pain, the lack of sleep, the sleepless nights, the anxiety that you feel now, that's when when they go into this stage of this wandering shit, that's when you know they will be experiencing then what you are now experiencing. So it's going to come back around to them, Virgo. There's a delay on it, of course, until they get here, but it's going to come back around and it's going to bite them in the ass, everything that they did. So ultimately, it looks to be up to you, Virgo, um, in the long run, that is how you want to handle that. Some of you may have walked away and are like, huh, I'm done. Never again. A. Hey, You've already made the decision on how to handle this in the long run, but you just did it now in, in the short term, right? But those of you who still have an open heart towards this person, your person, it will be up to you in the long run. Um, hopefully they don't take too long to get here because if they do, many of you Virgos will have turned elsewhere or will just have turned your back on this person and are ju will just be in a different state of mind, even if that's hard to imagine at this very moment, given all that you're going through. But Virgo, take care of yourself, please. 
Take care of yourself. Be easy with yourself. And please, Virgo, know your person's your person's fuck up had nothing to do with you. Your person messing up this relationship with this bullshit is no reflection on you, Virgo. You are the star here. And whether your person is acknowledging that at the moment or not does not make you any less of a star. You're the star. Don't forget it, okay? Because their stupidity does not make you less of a star, all right? Take care of yourself, Virgo, and all my best to you. Until next time.